Hello everyone, dear friends. And in this video, the presidents of the United States and I will show you a compilation of our videos. What would the presidents of the United States look like in Disney cartoons? Joe, I'm surprised you weren't asleep while you were saying that sentence. Shut up, Donald. Dear friends, you really like this section with AI pictures, and we decided to make a collection of our videos for you. Today, there will be a very interesting assembly. You will see how artificial intelligence mocks these two noobs. So watch this video until the end. Here's a small spoiler for what will happen in this video. What? Why do I look like Fat Drake? What? Why do I eat from a dog bowl? <laughs> what? Why do I smile next to polar bears? Watch this video until the end. It will be very interesting. Pensioners, enough useless talk. Let's start watching. Watch a compilation of our videos. Let's, Let's go. go. Hello, everyone, dear subscribers. My name is Joe Biden, and today we will once again see what the U.S. presidents would look like in Disney cartoons. Uh, this is already the fifth part of this column. You really like it, so we're filming it again. Hello again, two losers. I came here today because I'm prepared and ready to watch Sleepy Joe sleep with dogs again. <laughs> Shut up, Donald. In previous parts, you hugged a big hairy boar and ran from animals. Guys, as you understand today, there will be an interesting video because two pensioners have already begun to quarrel. So watch this video to the end. I bet that the first poster in this video will be about how Donald runs away from animals. I bet the first poster will be about Joe talking to his reflection in the mirror. Enough useless talk, two old guys. Let's start looking at the posters. Sleepy Joe is old, and I'm still a young man in the prime of his life. Shut, Shut up, up, Donald. Donald. <laughs> what? Why do I look like Fat Drake? Yes, Donald. It seems to me that if Drake saw this poster, he would definitely think that it was his double. Do you really think that way, Joe? Do I look like Drake in this poster? No, idiot. You look like you would destroy an entire city if you sit on it. This is the scariest thing I've seen in my life, Donald, in the gym. If they made a cartoon about this, I think I would throw the TV out the window. You don't understand anything because you are already old. Look at the confident man standing in front of you who is ready to pump up his beautiful body. Donald, in this post, you look like a bubble with hair that you want to burst. I'm scared to imagine how you will work out in the gym if they release such a cartoon. Donald, in this poster, you look like Billy, but not pumped up. What? Billy? Wow, 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 easier man. It seems to me that a whole restaurant could fit in it. The gym will no longer help this old man. He has taken the shape of a circle and will walk like that for the rest of his life. Joe, but you took the form of an old worm with gray hair and will live like that for the rest of your life. Okay, guys, let's give this poster a rating. I'll, I'll give this poster a seven. In my opinion, if they released a cartoon about Donald training in the gym, it would be the scariest horror movie in the world. This idiot looks like a sumo fighter, so I'll give him a nine. I feel sorry for him. You two stupid monkeys. I think this poster looks perfect. I'll give it a 10. I love the gym. You also love burgers and fries. What? Why do I eat from a dog bowl? <laughs> I had no doubt that Joe eats from dog bowls. I feel that he will soon have a conflict with dogs because of this. Look how this beast eats dog food. Apparently, we don't know something about Sleepy Joe, but in any case, I wouldn't want to watch a cartoon about him eating dog food. Look at these dogs. They want to eat. I don't eat dog food. It's just a poster. Blah, 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 Sleepy Joe. Now we all know what you do on Mondays, although I'm sure you steal food from dogs every day. I have a feeling Joe always carries a spoon with him in case he sees dog food somewhere. You and Donald are so similar, one goes to the gym, although you could fit an entire restaurant in his belly. The other eats dog food. I hope someday you will have some brains, although this is unlikely to happen, and you will understand that I don't eat dog food, and this is just a poster. I will never believe that you don't eat dog food. It's the same as believing that you don't talk to ghosts. You got caught Sleepy Joe. I do not talk to ghosts, idiot. Okay, guys, it's time to give this poster a rating. I'll give it an eight. I'm scared to see how Joe turns into a rabid dog when he sees dog food, mm. although I would watch a cartoon about it. I'll give this poster a 10. It looks funny and weird. I love weird things. And I also love when Joe suffers. I don't eat dog food, but the picture looks cool. I give it a 10 because I like these dogs. I would hug them. Dogs have started to attract Joe. Everyone save yourself. I choose shoes in the shape of a huge banana. Seriously. I knew that sooner or later, Barack would come to the store and buy huge bananas instead of sneakers. He has the instincts of a monkey, so he stores food for a year. 
I like the way Barack chooses these sneakers. The sellers of this store probably thought that it was a monkey who came to choose sneakers. Why do I look like a Neanderthal in this poster who just left the cave and doesn't understand what's going on around him, but in fact, the picture looks cool and bright? Guys, don't you think that we are, Barack, the strangest and dumbest pensioner in the whole world? Obama is 62 years old and he buys sneakers shaped like big bananas. This pensioner should be locked up in a museum. Wait, I just noticed, am I standing in the background helping Barack pick out sneakers shaped like huge bananas? I'm scared to be in the same discord with you guys. Now I'm 100% sure that Barack is a monkey and Joe is a hairy boar in disguise. I need to stay away from you. Shut up, Donald. The picture doesn't look that bad. At least it's better than a poster about you being in the gym. I will need to see a psychologist after filming this video. Let's rate this poster. I'll give it a 10. I love Barack and I love bananas. There are no negatives on this poster, only positives. I'll give this poster a nine. It looks crazy, but at the same time, it's cool because with each poster, there is more and more evidence that Barack is a monkey. I'm not a monkey, you belly idiot. I'll give this poster a 10. I think it looks very cool and bright. So far, this is the best poster we've seen today. Cartoon about how I buy huge bananas uh, better than Fat Donald working out at the gym. This is not normal anymore. My prediction came true. If Donald lands on the city, he will destroy it. Donald, you notice that artificial intelligence sees you as fat and kind. You're like a baby. <laughs> Guys, imagine what would happen to the city if Donald sat on it. At some points, it seems to me that this is not a poster, but a real photo. Absolutely everything on this poster is real. Joe, this is what will happen to America if you don't step down as president. I will destroy all the houses by sitting on them while you are at home communicating with ghosts. I have never seen in my life both a scary and a kind picture at the same time. Donald destroyed the city with his ass, but look at his face. There's so much happiness and burgers in his face. Oh, by the way, in this photo, Donald looks like the same girl from the series, The Squid Game. His look is so thick and kind. You don't understand anything about art, you two morons. This is the best poster today. Daddy Donald sits on Joe's house. If they release a cartoon about Donald destroying houses with his ass, I'll stop watching cartoons. Guys, let's rate this poster. I'll give it a seven, because it looks even scarier than Donald at the gym. But I feel sorry for him, so I gave it a seven. I'll give this poster a five. I don't want a huge fat Donald to appear in America and destroy houses. It seems to me that this is the worst dream of every person in America. Why such low ratings, clowns? This is the best poster I've seen in my life. I'll give it a 10. Who wouldn't want to see me in giant size? I think everyone wants this. Nobody would want to see huge you, Donald. I'm herding a flock of goats. Oh my God. The farmer role really suits you, Joe. You fit the image of fields and thinness, but not the president of America. Joe, the poster about you herding goats is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Now we all know what you will do when you retire. I don't imagine myself as a farmer, but it seems to me that everyone would be interested in seeing this. If they release a cartoon about me herding goats, I will watch it forever. I love goats. It seems to me that you love not only herding goats, but also doing something else with them. Looking at Joe, you can believe that he has a farm, fields, and a herd of goats, but you can't believe that he rules America. Joe, we all unanimously uh, ask you to resign as president. Barack, the only thing we can do together is ask your mom not to steal bananas from stores and not to climb trees. Look at this poster. I have a feeling that Sleepy Joe is not herding goats, but reaching out to kiss and hug them. This is a terrible sight. If they, if they made a cartoon about it, I would fly away from Earth so as not to see it. I take it back, Donald looks better in the gym than Joe with the goats. With each poster, we learn more and more truth about Joe. You are idiots. I do not herd goats. I am the president of America. Blah, 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 sleepy Joe, stop making excuses. Okay, guys, let's give this poster a rating too. I'll give it an eight because I feel like Joe has bad intentions for these goats. I'll give this poster a 10. Joe looks funny and happy next to the goats. I've never seen him so happy except when he was swimming in the ice cream fountain. Again, I'm not a farmer, but I love goats, so I'm giving this poster a 10. It looks vibrant and realistic. What? Black Barrack in a white uniform? Donald, you are stupid. Imagine if Black Barack in a white uniform, white milk, also on a white table. <laughs> Guys, don't you like Black because you don't like me? Yes, Barack, how can anyone love you? You rush at every passerby and ask him for bananas. You also live in the jungle. You are half mosquito and half monkey. Uh... What? Mosquito? Donald, why am I a mosquito? How am I even like a mosquito? Because I want it so much, Barack. You're a mosquito and you can't do anything about it, unfortunately. 
Shut up, Donald. Let's take a closer look at this picture. It seems to me that it looks perfect because Barack suits the role of a cook, as if he should have become a chef and not the president of America. Guys, look at the background. There are plush toys in the background. I have a feeling that Barack is holding them captive and feeding them his disgusting food. Donald, why is my food disgusting? Look, the poster shows that I cooked some delicious meat. I'm sure it's delicious. Barack, I will never believe that you cooked meat, especially tasty meat. The only thing you can make is banana puree. In fact, the picture looks very bright and beautiful. I think this is the most beautiful poster so far. I would watch a cartoon about Barack cooking. Thanks, Joe. I would also be interested in watching a cartoon about how I cook various dishes. I don't know why, but Barack in this poster reminds me of a mother with many children who does laundry and cooks every day. Ha ha ha, there is something in this. And so guys, I suggest you rate this poster and move on. I'll give it a 10 because so far this is the most normal poster that was in the video today. I don't agree with you, Joe. The best poster was when I was at the gym. I'll give this poster a 10. I love the look of Barack in the white chef's hat. This poster looks like a handsome guy. I'll give it a 10. This poster has three 10s. So far, it's in the lead, of course. It can't be any other way. What the hell? Why do I knit hats from thread? I want to shake the hand of the Nerosi who created this poster. Donald, now we all know what you do on Thursdays. You knit hats and also say that I'm an old idiot. Yes, Joe, I'm saying you're an idiot. How are you going to shake the hand of a neural network, genius? Look how Donald diligently tries to knit a hat. Those who are also shocked that Donald knits hats like this video. I do not knit hats. All the old people say that. Donald, just admit that you knit hats and we won't make fun of you. If all old people knit hats, then I'm sure that you and Barack have whole warehouses of knitted hats. Stop what? Is it just me or is it the pig's head in the background that's going on in this poster? Everything is very strange here. Guys, have you seen me? I love eating burgers on the couch and watching SpongeBob. What are you talking about? I don't knit any hats. Joe just talked about how he doesn't communicate with ghosts. You were caught. Donald, now we know that you knit hats like a 98-year-old grandma. 98-year-old <laughs> grandma is just Joe's mom, and I don't knit any hats, idiots. I hate you, Donald. I'll give this poster a 10. In fact, the poster looks kind of unusual, something new. Although, who am I lying to? I just like that old Donald Knits hats. It's cute. I'll also give it a 10. This is the cutest picture I've seen today. It seems to me that Donald in every poster looks like a baby, but he is old. Old, smelly baby. So I'll sign you up in my contacts, Joe. I'll also give this poster a 10. I don't knit hats, but this poster has three 10s and it becomes the second leader. Donald, I'm surprised you didn't call me a monkey for two whole minutes. This doesn't sound like you. You're a monkey. <laughs> Why am I spilling milk? Joe, are you sure it's milk? Maybe it's something else. <laughs> the strangest thing about this poster is that Joe himself pours the milk on the floor and is surprised by it. Joe is actually a strange person. Looking at this poster, I wanted to eat milk and cereal. After filming this video, I will go on a yacht to the store for milk. Donald, I think you are that person who is always hungry. You literally look like a giant burger in a jacket. At least I don't look like a skinny black worm. Wow, 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 stop. Guys, stop arguing. Let's take a closer look at the poster. I really like this poster because it's bright. And looking at it, you want to drink a cup of white cold milk. Have you noticed that Joe says about every poster that it is bright and colorful? Check to see if he added any additives to his morning ice cream. I agree with Joe. This poster makes you thirsty and makes you want to drink milk, and it looks cool, too. Another one there, too. I, I feel like I'm in a zoo here among monkeys and old boars. Shut up, Donald. So, guys, I suggest you rate this poster. There's nothing really big here, just me and milk, but it still looks exciting. I'll give it a 10. This poster doesn't have a lot of details, but even without it, it looks cool. I give it a 9. I'll give it a 10, simply because I love watching Joe suffer because his milk was spilled. Shark, better. Barack in this poster looks like my grandfather. He was a sailor and once rode a huge shark. Maybe you are my grandfather. Just imagine if Barack was a pirate. I would watch a cartoon like this. It would be called Black Pirate. Black Pirate? Joe, I can't imagine what goes on in your head on a day-to-day -day basis, how you were allowed to be the president of America. In this poster, Barack is clearly a pirate captain. Look at the background. There is a whole crowd of pirates there. Barack, you are like a squirrel. You meet all the characteristics. I'm very sorry that this happened. Please accept my condolences. You two stupid Neanderthals. I am not a squirrel. I am human. Animal instincts are awakening in Barack. Let's not disturb him. Joe and I are very sorry for him. 
Why did I get exactly such friends? Why do I suffer such torment in this life? Okay, guys, let's give this poster a rating. I'll give it a 10. Looks funny. I would watch a cartoon about Barack riding a shark. I'll give this poster a 10 because Barack looks like my grandfather. I love the sea. I'll give it a 10, too. Before starting this video, I would like to wish all our viewers a happy new year. We want to wish you all the best. May all your wishes come true in the new year. Thank you for watching us. We appreciate uh, every subscriber. I promise you that in the new year, I will joke more about Sleepy Joe and Barack the Monkey. <laughs> Donald, you're an idiot as always. Happy New Year to everyone and enjoy your viewing. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hello, everyone, dear friends. My name is Joe Biden, and today my friends and I are the presidents of the United States. We will look at what we would look like in popular cartoons. Joe, the new year is in a couple of hours, and you have become even grayer since you said this sentence. Shut up, Donald. Today we will once again look at what we would look like in cartoons. You really like this section, so we're doing it again. In today's video, you will see a lot of funny jokes about Sleepy Joe, so watch this video to the end. It will be very interesting. Okay, pensioners, enough useless talk. Let's start our video. Let's go! Barack, you're a monkey. Why are you yelling like that? <laughs> what? Why am I in the cartoon Shrek? Barack, I'm not surprised that you're in this cartoon. Look at your face. You look like a forest gnome. <laughs> It seems to me that this poster shows how Shrek became the new president of America. He made Barack a scary gnome and took the post of president. Why do I look so horrible in this poster? Barack, this is your destiny. As a child, you grew up in the jungle and you were raised by a huge hairy gorilla. But then as you grew up, you ran away to Shrek. Look how beautiful the girl is standing next to Shrek on this poster. I would marry her. Don't even dream, Sleepy Joe. She will be mine. At your age, the most you can marry is the ghost you talk to all the time. Pensioners, stop quarreling over a picture of a girl. Let's better rate this poster. You're right, Barack. Stop being distracted. In fact, this picture looks very cool. It looks unusual and bright. I would watch if Barack starred in the cartoon Shrek. I'll give this poster a 10. I think Barack looks scarier in real life than on this poster, so I agree with Joe. The poster looks good. I'll also give him a 10, but because I feel sorry for Barack, you two idiots! This is just a poster. I didn't live in the jungle with monkeys and didn't run away to Shrek. I'm a person like you. I live a human life. Blah, 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 Barack. Stop making excuses. We know that you are a forest monster. Ah! I'll give this poster a seven. It depicts me as a goblin from Clash of Clans. It scares me. Wow, 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 Joe, what it is? Wow, I really like this picture. I love watching the cartoon My Little Pony. And this poster is made very cool. At least it's better than Shrek and Barack the Goblin. Everything is clear. Joe began to be attracted to pink horses. I'm interested in what goes on in Joe's head in everyday life. I'm scared to imagine what he's thinking about. Why are these people so happy that Joe is hugging a pink horse? If they released a My Little Pony cartoon with Sleepy Joe in it, I would throw the TV out the window. Are you two stupid Neanderthals? This is just a poster of me dancing with the cartoon character My Little Pony. Haven't you watched this cartoon? Joe, at your age, you shouldn't watch cartoons about pink horses, but think about how much your pension will be paid to you. Shut up, Donald. I'm not as old as you think. I'm a man in his prime. Girls, stop arguing. I suggest you rate this poster and move on. I'll give this poster a 10. Looks cool. I'm giving this poster a 6 because Joe scares me more and more every time I see it. Last time he said that he loves hairy dogs and now he has switched to pink ponies. You are soulless, old people. How can you not love cute ponies? I'll give it a 10. This is the best thing I've seen in my life. Check for any additives in your Morning Joe's ice cream. Dear friends, do not forget to write your rating in the comments. We read and like every comment. Write in the comments that Joe is crazy. Shut up, Burger Piece. What? What the hell? I'm scared to imagine what would have happened to the cartoon DuckTales if it had starred Fat Donald, who could literally crush a city just by sitting on him. Look how happy Donald is on this poster. I think that nose suits him. He always looks like a duck. Thanks for the compliment, Joe, but it's better to have a duck's nose than to have rabies and jump on people because they won't buy you ice cream. Fat Donald has a face like he saved the city or helped grandma cross the road. But in any case, I will have this face in my nightmares. Barack, if I get into a cartoon, then I will definitely be a superhero. I am handsome and my physique is okay to protect people. They will call me Donald Pro. Donald, your physique is like a huge fast food bubble. One day I showed your photo to my mom. She fainted. 
Joe, she fainted not because she saw my photo, but because she smelled what you smelled like. You are literally a walking skibidi toilet. You're both skibidi toilets. Enough useless talk, and let's rate this poster. This poster looks pretty cool, but it would be cooler if it showed me standing in the kitchen cooking a huge, juicy burger. If they released a cartoon called DuckTales with your participation, the cartoon would end after watching one second because you would just eat flash drives with cartoons. Donald, you are like my dog. She also eats everything she sees in her path. I'm surprised how you sleep at night and don't eat. I would like to eat at night, but I fall asleep very quickly. When I lie down, I start sucking my thumb and fall asleep. Donald, sometimes I think you're a pink bald baby dressed as an old man. Enough talking about Donald sucking his fingers when he falls asleep. We completely forgot about the poster. Let's rate him. I'll give it a 10. I'd still like to see Donald in this cartoon because he has a duck's nose. I love when Donald suffers. I'll give it a seven. Donald looks like a guy who collects Coca-Cola caps. You're stupid. This is the best poster I've seen today. I definitely give it a 10. I'm the handsome guy in this poster and the cartoon is awesome. What? Ratatouille. <laughs> You two pensioners also said that the DuckTales poster was bad. Look at this. Oh my God, Barack, what happened to your ears? Donald was right. I didn't believe it before, but now I've seen it with my own eyes. You look like a monkey. I am not a monkey, you idiots. Why am I always portrayed in cartoons with animals? Why is Joe depicted dancing with a pink horse? What an injustice. Barack, you just look like their relative and the neural network sees you as a Neanderthal who lives in the forest. Every time you are pictured with scary animals, it's weird. I think Barack has ears that stretch a kilometer long. Look how happy he is. It seems to me that this poster shows how Barack became the president of America in the cartoon Ratatouille. At least somewhere I became president again. If this cartoon shows how I become president, then I would gladly watch it. And it doesn't matter that I have big ears and I look like a monkey. The main thing is that I become president. I would watch a cartoon of Barack becoming president of the forest animals, although we don't need to watch the cartoon. It happens in real life. It seems that the characters from the cartoon Ratatouille are glad that they have a new president who looks like a monkey. They accepted him as one of their own and apparently will cook something. Oh yes, guys, we have completely forgotten what this cartoon is about. This cartoon is about how the culinary rat dreams of a career as a chef in a Michelin four-star restaurant. That's why there are so many dishes on the tables here. Barack, this does not change the fact that you grew up in the jungle and lived in a tree with monkeys. Don't look for excuses. We know everything about you. Wow, wow, wow. Daddy Joe is on a blast today. Your brains are completely dry. Why did I get exactly these friends? What am I doing wrong? No one would want to be friends with you except us because you rush at people and ask for bananas. Donald and I are special guys who put up with you. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's rate this poster and move on. I'll give him a 10. Barack with ears that size looks funny, almost indistinguishable from real life. I agree with you, Donald. Barack looks better in all the posters than in real life. I'll give this poster a 9. His ears scare me. They're bigger than his head. Nothing can help you, pensioners. The poster looks cool and colorful. Ratatouille is a cool cartoon, so I'll give this poster a 10 and enroll you two in a nursing home. Batman, seriously. <laughs> I haven't seen anything funnier than this poster in my life. Just imagine if Joe was Batman. Usually in the cartoon, Batman saved the city from villains, but Joe will save ice cream from stores. Shut up, Donald. I would like to star in a cartoon about Batman. Batman fights cool enemies. He has a throwing weapon in the form of a bat, and he has a cool car. Joe, were you able to say the sentence, where should you star in the Batman cartoon so I, I can act there? I have a pumped up figure and I know how to fight. I'll, I'll be a superhero. Donald, the maximum you would be in the Batman cartoon is a supervillain. You look like that same bully from school who annoys and annoys everyone. Guys, the role of Batman suits me. Look at me on this poster. I have a beautiful black cape and all people are proud of me. I would like to be Batman. Joe, in this poster, you probably look more like a janitor in a black cape holding a Batman toy. It seems to me that if they released a Batman cartoon with the participation of Joe, it would break the psyche of all children. This idiot would not save the city, but would watch My Little Pony and eat chips. Okay, my Neanderthal friends, let's rate this poster. I'll give it a 10 because it looks awesome. I can already imagine how I save the city and ride in the Batmobile. Joe, I bet that if a Batman cartoon comes out with your participation, it will become the most important horror cartoon in the world. I'll give this poster a 10 because I love Batman. I'll give it a seven because I'm always portrayed with animals and Sleepy Joe is portrayed as a superhero. 
cars. This is the best poster. I already feel that if Donald ends up in the cartoon cars, he will disassemble them into parts and sell them to buy himself a Macombo at McDonald's. This poster actually looks pretty good, although compared to the one with me as Batman, it's terrible. I'm the most ideal as Batman. Sleepy Joe, Cars is the best cartoon in the world. I don't know anyone who hasn't watched this cartoon. If they released a cartoon with my participation, it would break all records. He would break all records of attendance of people in the hospital because after watching a cartoon in which you are, people go crazy. <laughs> Look at the poster. There is a legendary red car on it. I forgot what it is called, but it seems to me that everyone in this world knows it. Guys, write in the comments what the name of this red car is. I forgot what it is called, but the poster looks really good. It seems to me that the most important car on this poster is me. I'm perfect in everything and no one can argue with that. Donald, there's no harm in dreaming. Okay guys, let's evaluate the poster. It looks really good, but I'll give it an eight because Donald is on this poster. If he wasn't there, the picture would be perfect. I give it a 10. I love cars and everything related to cars. Uh, and I'll give it a 10 too because I can't give anything lower than a 10. This poster literally looks like an angel. Paw Patrol, why am I with animals again? Yes, Barack, in today's video, you are lucky with animal. It seems to me that the neural network is creating posters where you are with animals because you are black. Wow, 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 Joe, you idiot. Although I agree with you. You are completely stupid. It's just a poster and I don't look like an animal. You have vision problems, pensioners. Okay, Donald, stop making fun of Barack. The poster looks pretty good and bright. It looks like a scene from the movie President Barack and the POW Patrol. Stop, Joe. That's you on the poster on the wall. What did you forget on the Barack poster? Shut up, Donald. This is my moment of glory. And so, guys, I suggest you rate this poster and move on. I'll give it a solid 10. It looks really amazing and epic. I give it a 10. I'm glad Barack became president of the puppies. Let's congratulate him in the comments on this event. This poster score 310. This is the best poster ever. How do you like this, assholes? We decided to feel sorry for you, Barack. You already look like a monkey. Hello everyone, dear subscribers. In today's video, we will again see how the presidents of the United States would look in Disney cartoons, but this time it will be a winter version. I'm surprised that Donald starts this video, but since the new year's coming soon, Joe and I allowed him to start this video. You idiots didn't forbid me, I allowed myself. Hello everyone, my name is Joe Biden. We have already shot similar videos and this is the fourth part of the video, but this time all the posters will be in the New Year's style. Today, the presidents of the United States and I will give you a little New Year's cheer, so watch this video to the end. Enough useless talk, pensioners. Let's get started. Let's go. What? What the hell is this? Donald, recently you joked about the fact that I'm a monkey and you're already pouring black paint on the snowman. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine this picture if Donald went outside in winter with black paint and started spilling it absolutely everywhere. Why do I look in this portrait like I want to ruin this snowman's life? I look like Plankton from the cartoon SpongeBob. Donald, you absolutely always look like this, although I would like to see a cartoon where a crowd of snowmen attack you and you fight them off with black paint. You're a cruel Barack, but I'm not surprised why you want to watch such a cartoon. You're a monkey. <laughs> Donald, you spill black paint on snowmen. It's worse than being a monkey. Although being a monkey isn't easy either. I sympathize with you, Barack. I am not a monkey. You two pensioners, I am the same person like you. Booga booga little black monkey, Barack. We understand everything. You don't have to hide it from us. Okay guys, let's give this rating and move on to the next poster. I'll give it a three because running around throwing black paint on snowmen is not normal. In my opinion, it, it, it looks fun and funny. I will, I will give this poster a 10. I would watch a cartoon like this. Barack, but there are no monkeys and bananas on this poster and I'm, I'm surprised you gave it a 10. Most likely because this poster has black in it. I'll give it a 10. I'm the handsome guy in this poster. Wow, this poster looks so cool. Stop, Joe, but the poster shows that you are falling down. There is a steep mountain and you are about to fall down. I would love to watch a cartoon of Joe sledding down a snowy hill, but if the ending of the cartoon is Joe falling from a huge mountain... I hope you turn off the internet, Donald. Look at Joe's face, how happy he is, knowing that in two seconds he will fall from a snowy mountain. This is the sweetest smile I have seen in my life. Barack, it just looks like I'm lying down the mountain. In fact, I'm just sledding in a Santa Claus costume and smiling like an idiot. Joe, nothing happens for nothing. I can already imagine how sleepy Joe will fall to the Brazilian funk. Donald seems to me to be of no help to you. 
Okay, gentlemen, let's rate this poster. I'll give it a 10 because it looks bright, rich, and Joe falls down. I'll give this poster a 10, too. It looks pretty cool and colorful, but I am not falling on this poster. I'll give it a 10 because I love it when Joe suffers. In this world, you, you can always look at three things. How the fire burns, how the water flows, and how Joe falls from the mountain in a Santa Claus costume. What? Why do I smile next to polar bears? Have you noticed that on every poster Barack is depicted with some kind of animal? I have suspicions that he grew up in the forest like Mowgli. This bear is clearly glad that Barack lives with them, so most likely Barack definitely grew up in the jungle. Look how many bears there are here. You two idiots. I just saw on the news that all pensioners have received their pensions. Check your bank cards. Barack, of the three of us, you are the oldest here because monkeys live a maximum of 40 years and you are already 60. Think about the fact that you should have died 20 years ago. Donald, what if we are now recording this video with a ghost? What if Barack is long gone? Joe, you're no stranger to talking to ghosts every day. You are stupid. I'm alive. Stop burying me. That's exactly what a ghost would say. Uh, Barack, you're too suspicious. Joe and I don't understand yet. Are you a monkey or a ghost? <laughs> okay, guys, let's give this poster a rating. The bears look beautiful. And the atmosphere, the New Year's fascinating. I give it 10. By the way, have you seen what polar bears look like without fur? They look like pink, bald babies. It's cute. Okay, I'll, I'll give this poster a 10, too. Everything on it is perfect, both the white bears and the black Barack. Lord, why did I get such friends? I'll also give it a 10 because I love bears. They're cool. I decorated the Christmas tree with burgers. This is the best thing I've seen in my life. There was uh, nothing better before. I'm not even surprised by this picture. Only you can decorate the Christmas tree with burgers. I'm scared to imagine what posters will come next. Can you imagine if Disney actually released a cartoon of Donald decorating a Christmas tree with fast food? It's just crazy and I wanted to eat. In fact, I would like such a Christmas tree for myself. So after filming this video, I go to McDonald's on my yellow bus and pick up all the food that is there and decorate my beautiful Christmas tree with it. You also say that I'm a monkey. Look at this empty-headed Donald fish. Barack, why am I an empty-headed fish? Because you decorate the Christmas tree with burgers. Okay, guys, let's write this poster. I'll give it a three. It's crazy. Dear friends, don't forget to write a rating in the comments for each poster we read and like every comment. I'll give this poster a six. It looks cool, but it's crazy who would decorate a Christmas tree with fast food. Are you joking? This is the best poster today. Who wouldn't want to decorate their Christmas tree with burgers? This is the dream of every person in me. That's why I give it 11. It's me. Why am I so good? <laughs> Guys, have you ever seen this sleepy Joe in a white tuxedo holding a carrot in his teeth? I'm about to choke with laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is just a romantic New Year's bunny. I think this is the most unexpected poster for today. Joe, you're good. Thank you, Barack. Look how well the poster is made. I look very handsome in it. I like how the white colors go together. <laughs> Shut up, Donald. What's funny about this poster? The way you keep that carrots in your teeth. <laughs> today, I expected to see anything, but the romantic Joe shocked me but in fact, the picture was made very beautifully and well. I'm also very shocked the way he holds that carrot in his teeth killed me. If this video gets two likes, Joe will celebrate the new year in this costume and with carrots in his teeth. I'm ready to celebrate new year in this outfit because it looks beautiful. Everything is clear, the pensioner's head went crazy. And so ladies and gentlemen, I propose to rate this poster and move on. I'll give it a 10, it looks cool and it made me laugh, it deserves a 10. I'll give it an eight because it both scared and made me laugh. This is the funniest thing I've seen in a long time. I'm the handsome guy in this poster, so I give it a 10. Why am I on all the monkey posters? Barack, I think this is the most honest picture for today. I'm sure that you are playing snowballs with monkeys because you have no one else with, except maybe polar bears. I wouldn't be surprised if they released a cartoon of Barack playing snowballs with monkeys. Look at this guy, I think she likes Barack. I'm surprised that there are such stupid pensioners in the world. Wait, did you notice that this poster is called Booga Booga? Now we know for sure that Barack is a member of the Organization of Monkeys. In fact, the picture looks very bright and rich. I would watch such a cartoon because it is colorful and because it has the monkey king, Barack. Joe, it seems to me that at your age, everything around you looks bright and colorful. I'm, I'm surprised that you didn't fall asleep while you were saying that sentence. I agree with you, Joe. I think this is the most colorful picture we've seen today. Let's rate this poster. 
Uh, not true, Barack. The most colorful picture today is of Joe in a Santa suit falling from a huge mountain. I'm already looking forward to this cartoon coming out. <laughs> Donald, you're an idiot. Okay, guys, let's rate this poster. I'll give it a 10 because it looks exciting. If only, Barack, you wouldn't rate it lower than 10 because there are monkeys on this poster. I'll give this poster a 10, too. I want to see Barack and the monkeys fight. I will also give it a 10. I like the way this fat monkey looks. I want to hug him and calm him down. Old Joe is attracted to fat, helpless monkeys. I feel like I'll have to call the hospital soon. What? Why is everything strange in this picture? What is Donald trying to do with the snowman, and why is this snowman smiling so strangely? My brain is broken. It seems to me that in this poster, I am simply hugging the snowman in a friendly manner. There is nothing special about it. I'm just kind, unlike you two idiots, and I love everyone. Just hug him. You're about to break his head. Look behind. There's a man standing behind him, and he's spying on Donald. Why is everything so strange? It seems to me that if they release such a cartoon, then after watching it, I would turn to a psychologist. Joe, after watching SpongeBob, you started walking around America and shouting that you were in Bikini Bottom. Nothing will help you. I actually like this poster. OK, guys, I suggest you rate this poster. I'll give it a 7. It looks cool, but weird. Donald looks like a maniac in this poster. I'll give him an eight. I think the snowman likes that Donald holds his head in this way. You two stupid pensioners, you don't understand anything. I'm just hugging this snowman's head like a daddy. I'll give this poster a 10. Now we all know that Donald's sons are snowmen. Barack, your mom is the biggest monkey in the world. What are you even talking about? Why am I holding the jaw of an old grandfather in my hands? Joe, it seems to me that this poster shows how animals give you a New Year's gift. You unpack it and get the jaw of an old grandfather. Now I know what I can give Sleepy Joe for the new year, a pair of new jaws so that he doesn't hiss when he talks. Guys, like this video because I care about Joe. Donald, you're an idiot. Look at these animals. How happy they are that they gave me new jaws for the new year. It looks cute. Joe, every time you say a sentence, I feel like you're suffocating or about to die. These animals look as if they have been preparing this gift all their lives. Although I'd love to see Joe's animals give him a new jaw. It looks really funny. Joe, even the animals are hinting to you that it's time to change your old stinking jaws. Look at this polar bear. He's probably thinking, finally, this old idiot will change his jaws. Shut up, both of you. I don't wear dentures. I have my own teeth. But in fact, the picture looks cool because there is a big white bear in it. Joe, if you're talking to ghosts at your age, I'm sure you're wearing dentures. It's high time you went to the hospital for help. Guys, we've watched uh, this picture enough. Now, I propose to give it a rating. I'll give it a 10, because it's funny watching animals give Sleepy Joe a new jaw. I'll also give it a 10. I like it when Joe smiles. And then there's this event. Look, the animals gave Sleepy Joe jaws. You two stupid asses. This is just a photo, and I don't wear dentures. I'll give this poster a 9, because I like the way polar bears look. And this poster also has a Christmas vibe. Why am I standing on the snowman's hand and pulling his hat? I think that this poster doesn't even need a description. Everything is already clear. Monkey Barack became mad, climbed onto a huge snowman, and began to break his arm. Barack, let me make you an appointment with a psychologist. And really, look, Barack even looks like a monkey in this poster. You can see it very clearly. Barack, maybe you really are a monkey, and Donald has been telling the truth all this time. I am not a monkey. You are two brainless pensioners. To be honest, I feel sorry for this snowman, but what can you do when Barack goes crazy? He destroys everything in his path until he finds bananas. Look how many people gathered to watch me take the hat off the snowman. It's crazy. Barack, I would also watch you go crazy and jump on snowmen to take their hat off. You are a rabid orangutan. Let's rate this poster. I'll give this poster an eight because I don't like it when snowmen get broken, but I love Barack, so I gave it an eight. Donald, three minutes ago on the poster, you were racking the brains of a snowman like a maniac. Are you a complete idiot? I'll give this poster a 10. I love building and breaking snowmen. It's funny. I give it a five. Barack is crazy and needs to be treated. Why am I fat and giving a concert? <laughs> Donald, in this poster, you look like a singer performing chanson. I would like to hear it performed by you. Let go. It seems to me that in the past, Donald should have become not the president of the United States, but a musician who sings chanson. With his fat belly, it suits him better. I would really like a stage and a microphone in my hands, but I will still be the president of the United States, Sleepy Joe. Donald, why are you performing in a cave on the poster? There are a lot of icicles everywhere on the poster, and it feels like you are in a cave. 
In fact, Donald is a Neanderthal. He was born in a cave, found a stick that looked like a microphone, picked it up and started giving concerts. Shut up, Joe. You're just jealous that I can not only rule America, but also give concerts in caves to chanson. And all you can do is talk to ghosts and fall out of the blue. This poster is like my worst dream. When Donald starts singing, horror happens. One day I lost my hearing because of Donald singing. Donald helped me get to the hospital. I am glad that I was able to help my best friend. Always contact me. I will always be happy to help. You only made it worse, idiot. Okay, guys, let's rate this poster. I'll give it a six because Donald singing is the worst thing I've heard in my life. I'll give this poster a 10. Fat Donald performing in a cave is the funniest thing I've seen. Donald the musician. You two New Year's dear don't understand anything about creativity and music. Chanson is an art, especially when performed by me. So I'll give this poster a 10. I'm handsome. I'm in a huge piece of ice in Alaska. Seriously. Joe, if you got into a huge piece of ice in Alaska, but in real life and not in a cartoon, then my long-awaited dream would come true. It looks scary. I can imagine how old Joe is in this ice cube. Look at the background. It looks like people are happy that Joe felt like he was in a huge ice cube. This poster makes me look scared, but actually the poster looks cool. It looks bright and has a Christmas vibe. Dear friends, from today, I officially declare that if you see Sleepy Joe in a huge ice cube, then know that this will mean a New Year's vibe. I hate you, Donald. Okay, girls, stop arguing. It's time to rate this poster. I'll give it a 10. Joe in the ice cube looks beautiful and cool. It would be more beautiful to see this in life. I'll give it an 8. I feel sorry for Sleepy Old Joe. I like this poster. I'll give it a 10. It looks really good and cool. I would watch a cartoon like this. Hello again, dear friends. My name is Joe Biden, and today we will look at what U.S. presidents would look like in Disney cartoons. That's right, Joe. We've done similar videos before. You really liked this section, and we decided to make a third part of the video. Hello, two idiots. Daddy Donald is back, and he's ready to see what we would look like in Disney cartoons. Oh, no, this pop fool is back again. Why am I suffering so much? The fact that you are suffering is still trivial. You are talking to ghosts. Although, why am I surprised? At your age, this is normal. Pensioners, stop quarreling. Let's start looking at our images. Let's go. Joe, from your voice, I thought you were dying. What the hell? Joe, even in Disney cartoons, you are portrayed as an abnormal grandfather who talks to his reflection. I would watch such a cartoon. Why am I so thick and transparent in the reflection? What is wrong with me? <laughs> thick and transparent. Sounds like Donald's profile on a dating site. Shut up, Barack, or I'll call the zoo to take you into a cage and give you a banana to calm you down. <laughs> you two idiots, we are here to evaluate posters of what would presidents look like in Disney cartoons, not to depict animal sounds. Joe, yeah, but Barack doesn't pretend these are his real natural sounds. Shut up, Donald. And so, guys, and Donald, let's look at this picture in more detail because Donald bothered us, uh, as always. The picture was made in the New Year's style, and this is an obvious plus point. The New Year's very soon, and this picture conveys the New Year's mood. This picture also conveys a strange reflection because you are talking to the mirror. Why was Donald invited to this episode? Let's rate this poster. I think it looks quite funny and interesting. Uh, definitely a, a plus point for the New Year's atmosphere. I give it 10. I'll give it an eight. The poster looks cool, but I don't bother with the reflection in the mirror. I'll give it a 10 because I feel sorry for Joe. He's already old and talks to his reflection in the mirror. Joe, we all want you to get better. I don't talk to ghosts, snob. What? Why do I suck a banana and what is happening? Donald, it seems to me that this is not a poster created by a neural network, but a real photo. You were just taken by a paparazzi. Donald, I think this is the best thing I'll see today. But in fact, the picture is quite bright and colorful. Not because the weather is good, but because Donald is sucking bananas. Is it Barack or are you in this photo too? Where? There you are, a flying hairy monkey. Why do I look like a monkey? Are you sick? You're black. Donald, I wouldn't be surprised if you actually eat bananas exactly the way shown in the photo. Joe, I want to remind you that you're talking to ghosts, so shut up. Bananas are delicious. Guys, enough unnecessary talk. Let's rate this masterpiece on a 10-point scale. I'll give it a 10. This is definitely the best picture of today. You can look at it forever. I would watch a cartoon about Donald eating bananas in his own way. Joe, if you want to watch a cartoon about me eating a banana, then I want to upset you. You, like Barack, are turning into a monkey. African tribe, seriously. Barack, now we understand why you resigned as president. You were attacked by a crowd of Africans. Let me remind you that the African tribe is Joe's relatives. 
It looks crazy. Just look at the size of this crowd, and this big lady scares me. Joe, this is your mom. Well, 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 Barak. If they released a cartoon where Barack is being chased by a herd of an American tribe, I would love to watch it. Ha, 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 Barack looks so offended as if he is about to be beaten by thousands of Africans. Mon Joe, thank you for telling us. We don't see this. Contact Barack. I will always be happy to help my best friend. Ah! It's time to rate this poster. I'll give it a 10 because I like this big ant. Joe, with each new episode, you scare me more and more. In the last episode, you said that you like big hairy gorillas. In this episode, you say that you are attracted to fat African mommies. Guys, I want to ask you to like this video because I have to suffer with these idiots. I'll give this poster a 10. I love watching Barack suffer. I'll put one. I don't want to run from a crowd of Africans through the mountains. Guys, if we get two likes on this video, Barack will run through the mountains from a herd of African tribes. I won't do this. You will? No. Yes. What? Joe, you're clearly hiding something from us. Joe, why are you huging a little girl? It seems to me you don't just want to hug her. And I think this is the cutest picture I've seen today. I'm just hugging a little girl because I love children. Do you like children? Joe, you told us five seconds ago that you like big African mommies. I'm afraid of you. You idiots, I'm just hugging the girl in this photo. There's nothing like that here. I'm a kind president of America, unlike Donald, and I can hug a little girl. Tell it in court, Joe. Joe speaks as calmly as if he hugs little children every day. That's what I do. I'm a good president, and when I hug children, I feel happy. Do you feel happy when you hug children? <laughs> Joe, first you say hello to ghosts, then you love big African chicks. Now you've moved on to children. You are idiots. This is just a regular poster. Joe, remember when I said you were turning into Barack the monkey? Forget it. You turn into Billy. He is also happy when he hugs the children. What, Billy? Wow, 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 easier, bro. Okay, guys, let's rate this poster and move on. I give it a 10. I love hugging children. I'll give it a four. I'm scared of you, Sleepy Joe. I'm still haunted by the thought that Joe is already 81 years old and he loves to hug children. I give it a five. And after this video, I'll have to see a psychologist. Strange, Barack, I thought you were already going to a psychologist because of the problem that you jump on palm trees, scream like a monkey and throw bananas at everyone. I've never done this, you stupid Donald. Why the hell am I teaching a dog to dance? <laughs> Donald, it's time to reveal your secrets. You know, everyone knows that on Mondays you teach dogs to dance. Joe, you almost died while saying that sentence. Actually, this poster looks really cool, but why is Donald dressed like a croupier making uh, bets in poker? I work as a dealer sometimes, Barack. There was a time when I came to the casino dressed as Spider-Man, but that's a different story. Oh, no, Donald, you don't need to tell your stupid and meaningless stories. It seems to me that all the viewers who hear your stories after that turn to psychologists. Last time Donald told us his next stupid story, I had to go to the hospital for injections because the doctor saw no other way out. I'm glad I could help you, Joe. You idiot. Before I heard your story, everything was good. You only made it worse. No thanks to Joe, I tried to do my best. It's time to rate this poster. I'll give it a 10 because if Donald taught a dog to dance, it would be the funniest thing in the world. I wanna see this too, my rating is 10. Losers, you will never see me teaching a dog to dance. Don't even dream about it, but I'll give it a 10. I love dogs. I don't understand. Is this some kind of new trend for loving animals? You pensioners have gone completely crazy in your old age. Ufo, why am I sitting in a flying saucer? Uh, look, I'm standing there. Most likely this picture is, is about how Barack became an alien and took over the world. Barack, why do you look like a homeless alien in this poster? As if you still have some monkey features. What? A homeless alien with the facial features of an ape? Joe, you're an idiot. Although, in fact, I like the cartoon about how I take over America on flying saucers and become the new president. Don't even dream, Barack. I will always rule America and you will not become the new president. Joe, you better learn to control your legs first because you're falling out of the blue. But this picture looks really cool and large scale. Let's give it a rating. I'll give it a nine because in this poster, I look like a monkey. Barak, why are you surprised? You look like a monkey on all the posters. I put two because I don't want the alien Barack to come after me on a flying saucer. This alien wants to take over America, so I'll give it a two. Two, you are the most soulless pensioners I have ever seen. Why am I looking at a medicine? 
<laughs> Finally, in this video, they showed one real photo and not a poster depicted by a neural network. Joe, you're looking at that pill so closely, it's like you spent your entire pension on it. You are idiots. I do not take pills. Joe, you talk to ghosts, like to hug little children and fall over out of the blue. Are you telling me you don't take pills? It seems to me that in this picture, Joe is choosing which pill to take, small or large. I think he will choose the large one. Barack, of course, will choose the big one because he's old Joe. He likes everything big. Now, we understand why you said in every video that every poster seems bright and colorful to you. <laughs> I haven't met people dumber than you. You understand that this is an ordinary poster created by a neural network, and I don't take pills. Blah, 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 Sleepy Joe. Stop making excuses and let's rate this poster. I'll give it a 10 because it looks funny and realistic. I'll also give it a 10. This is the best thing I've seen today. I give it a three. Picture looks cool, but I don't take pills, you two stupid noobs. Guys, don't forget to rate each poster with us. Write in the comments how much you would rate this poster. Oh, I like this poster. Why is it so unfair? Barack is running from a tribe of Africans. I'm talking to ghosts. And this pot-bellied idiot is just lying on the couch eating chips. Joe, this is exactly how the neural network sees me, and it sees you as two Neanderthals, but that's how it is. Look at this fat, happy face. This poster is also called Boss. Donald looks like a happy ball baby. I think he is happy with everything he has. He is a man of surprise and kindness. Oh, Joe, that's so sweet. But five minutes ago, you said I was an idiot. That's right, Donald, you idiot. I hope your internet gets cut off, Joe. OK, it's time to rate this poster. I'll give it a 10, because Donald really does look like a kind, bald baby who eats chips. I'll give it a 10. I love little bald children. What? I mean, no one is confused that Joe loves little children. I give it a 10 because this is the best poster today. I'm handsome. What? I condemn such actions. Barack, why are you pouring water in front of Africans? And why are you smile? Yes, your brains have completely dried up two pensioners. I would never spill water in front of Africans. But you did it and you're still smile. Look at this poor boy. He just wanted water. Yes, it's just a poster, you old dear. Why are the Africans on this poster so happy that water is being poured out before their eyes? Look at their smiles. Barack hypnotized them with his monkey smile and they smile. See the description of this poster. 44th president and brought water to doing a good D. So why are you pouring water then, monkey? I feel like ice cream in Joe's mouth. I want to get out of here. Even the dog is happy. Absolutely everything in this picture is strange. Most likely the barrack really fascinated them with his terrible smile, Barack the Witch. Let's skip this horror already and move on. But first, let's rate this poster. I'll give it a four. I'm sorry that Barack the monkey is pouring water in front of Africans. Donald may be stupid, but I'll support him here, and I'll also give him a four. I will give this poster a 10, and it looks bright and beautiful. The sun is rising in the background. The poster looks great. The poster looks beautiful. Barak, you are stupid. What? Why do I lie in the same bed with dogs? Joe sleeps with dogs. In principle, I'm not surprised Sleepy Joe is capable of more than that. I wouldn't be surprised if he slept with a cow. Ha, 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 ha. For me, this is the best picture today. I would watch a cartoon of Joe sleeping with dogs. It looks like all these dogs are happy to sleep in the same bed with me. But my face says otherwise. I'm panicking. <laughs> Joe sleeps with dogs. You will have a new name. Dog Joe. I hate you, Donald. This dog is the luckiest of all. She is lying in an embrace with old Joe. I think this looks like Joe's dream. Barack is not my dream. I never had a dream to sleep in the same bed with dogs. What kind of idiot sleeps with dogs? That idiot is you, Joe. I do not sleep with dogs. OK, guys, let's rate this picture. I'll give it a 10. Joe looks cute with dogs. I'll also give it a 10. Joe sleeps with dogs because he looks like her. Ha ha ha. Dear friends, do not forget to write your rating in the comments. We will be very interested to read which poster is the best. I'll give it a 10 because this poster really looks cute. I would like to have so many dogs but not sleep in the same bed with them. Joe, it was enough for us that you said that you want a dog. We all know that you will definitely sleep with it. <laughs> Let me guess. Donald is learning to ride a bike, but he can't do it. Donald, you can't no ride a bike. Joe, just because I can't ride a bike doesn't mean anything. Donald, it means a lot. It means you're stupid. Every child can ride a bike. Even at my age, I can ride a bike very well. And at your age, you communicate well with ghosts and cannot stand on your feet. Donald, how can you not know how to ride a bike? Absolutely. Every person except you can do it. The strangest thing is that Donald can fly an airplane and all vehicles, but not a bicycle. Donald is a loser. 
You are too stupid to understand this. I will soon learn to ride a bike. There's no harm in dreaming, Donald. Okay, guys, let's rate this poster again. It's very beautiful and rich. I give it 10. These people on the poster look happy in the hope that Donald will fall off his bike. I also give it a 10. There is even a bread man on this poster. I think he deserves a 10. My rating is 10. Hello, idiots. Do you know what we will do in today's video? Are we going to listen to your stupid stories again, Donald? No, Barack. I think that today we will again look at what US presidents would look like in Disney cartoons. Sleepy Joe, I'm surprised you remember this, but it's true today. The second part of the video is what US presidents would look like in Disney cartoons. Okay, let's go. Barack, you're a monkey. Why are you yelling like that? What? Why am I again running from the big bear? Donald, what's wrong with your voice? I have a man's voice, Joe, unlike you. Ha ha ha, dear friends. So, so you understand in the first part, Donald on every poster was running from someone. Yo, what is this? Why am I fat? Ha ha, Donald, this picture showed your real size. At the beginning of the video, I was running from a huge gorilla, now from a pack of wild boars. I won't be surprised if in the next pictures I'm running from a crowd of wild animals. Donald, look at your face. You're so stupid and scared here. Joe, you look stupid and scared when you talk to your ghost friends. Pensioners, stop arguing. Let's rate this poster. Just look how big the bear is in this picture. I want this bear to eat Donald, so I bet 10. I support you, Joe. I'll give you a 10 too. 10? Seriously? Do you want me to be eaten? Yes, Donald, you deserve it. Only your mom deserves this, Joe. What? Why am I performing in Africa? I would call this painting Joe's meeting with his relatives. Shut up, Donald. But I hope that in the near future, Joe will be the president of Africa and I will finally become the president of America again. Don't even dream, Barack. I'll be the president of America. Shut up, both of you. None of you will be the president of America because I will be. Let's better appreciate the picture. Joe, judging by your face in the picture, you are proud to rule the African tribes. Let's congratulate Joe in the comments. He founded an African tribe. You idiots, I'm the president of America, not Africa. Blah, 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 Sleepy Joe. Don't be ashamed of your African relatives. We understand everything. Okay, guys, let's rate this poster. I'll give it a 10 because I love Africa and Joe's relatives. I'll give it a nine. I feel sorry for Joe. You are idiots. I was not born in Africa. I hope it's not true. I put three. Better, I'm giving a snowman concert. Ha ha ha, Barack, since when did you start giving concerts to snowmen? Look how happy this snowman is that Barack is singing to him. I wonder, Barack, what song are you singing to him? Maybe Brazilian funk? Or some children's song? Donald, you're an idiot. In fact, the picture looks very beautiful. New Year is coming, and she made it in New Year's style. I agree with you, Joe. The picture looks bright and colorful, and I'm not singing Brazilian funk to the snowman, Donald. Barack, don't you sing Brazilian funk? Who doesn't sing it? Donald, I think it's time for you to go crazy. And so guys, let's rate this poster. I'll give it a 10 because it conveys the atmosphere of the new year. I agree with you, Barack, but the fact that you are singing to snowmen is crazy. It's time for you to get treatment. Joe, you're talking to ghosts. What are you talking about? You and Barack look alike. Ha ha ha. Shut up, Donald, and rate this poster. I'll give it an eight because you don't sing Brazilian funk. I give it a 10. This snowman is so funny. Am I jumping through trees like a monkey? This is madness. Donald, it feels like this is not a poster, but a real photo. If I think about your stories and stories, it could be quite real. Oh yes, after Donald's stories, I had to make an appointment with a psychologist. Strange, Barack. I thought you already had an appointment with a psychologist. Guys, enough useless talk. Look how gorgeous the picture is. Wow, 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 what was that? I think it was Sleepy Joe's dad. What are you guys talking about? I have not seen anything. Wow, wow, now I get it. It was so unexpected and pleasant. Everything's clear. Fool Donald reached out to the blue, pumped up men. Okay, idiots, let's rate my gorgeous poster. I think this is the best poster for today, so I give it 100. Yes, Donald, I agree with you. You look the best in this poster. Thanks, Joe. I'm not done. You look the best in stupidity. I hate you, old pensioner. I'll give this poster a 10. I would watch a cartoon of Fat Donald jumping on palm trees. If you do too, like this video. I would watch a cartoon of Barack singing Funk to the Snowman. <laughs> Is this some kind of challenge with snowmen started? Wow, this picture looks very good. And just like Barack's picture, it conveys the New Year's mood. This poster looks like it's 
from a Hollywood movie. I've, I love pictures with snow and a snowy atmosphere in general, and it's cool. Assholes, are you saying this looks better than Donald who jumps on palm trees? Yes, Donald, it looks better and prettier. You don't understand anything about pictures? In this picture, I look like the president of the Snow Kingdom. I look like a pretty cool old man. I would love to watch a cartoon like this. The picture does look cool, but it doesn't change the fact that Joe is talking to snowmen. Guys, who is looking forward to the new year? I think this is the best holiday that exists. Oh, yes. I love the New Year's atmosphere. Christmas tree, snow, garlands in all rooms, tangerines on the tables, Santa Claus, and most importantly, gifts. This is very cool. I also like winter and New Year's holidays because I love throwing snowballs at Sleepy Joe. Donald, this winter I will take revenge on you. Ha ha ha, Joe. I hasten to repeat to you that last time you tried to pick up snow in your hands and your old hand fell off. Shut up, Donald. Friends, if you also like winter and New Year holidays, write in the comments what exactly you like about winter. Maybe New Year's gifts or a large New Year's tree, tangerines. We will be interested to read. For the first time in my life, I agree with you, Barack. I will be interested to read what our viewers like about winter. Let's make the next video pregnant and insert a few comments. I agree with you, Joe. So let's go back to our poster and give it a rating. I'll give it a 10. I'll give it a 10 too, because I love winter. I'll give it a five because talking to snowmen is not normal, although it's normal for Joe. SpongeBob, seriously? <laughs> Joe became the president of Africa and Barack became the president of Bikini Bottom. I'm not the president of Africa, idiot. Wait, but SpongeBob is not a Disney cartoon. Yes, but artificial intelligence decided to show us who you will be in the future and you became the president of the water world. Why am I so happy in this photo? Barack the Little Mermaid. But let's agree, this poster looks pretty cool and it features the cartoon SpongeBob, who doesn't love SpongeBob. I love this cartoon as much as Joe's mom. Donald, my mom doesn't love you. How can you not love such a handsome guy? I invite you to rate this poster. I give it a 10 for SpongeBob. I give it 10. I also give it a 10 because Barack is the new president of Bikini Bottom. Let's congratulate him. Big pencil? Well, at least this time, I'm not running from a huge hairy boar. Ha ha ha, Donald, this is the strangest picture I've ever seen. Looks like the beginning of an adult movie starring Fat Donald and pencils. You two idiots, this is a common picture. And by the way, I see here characters from the cartoon Toy Story. Looks like these pencils are very happy. Donald has become president of the pencils. President of pencil? Barack, you are a monkey. Why does the left pencil have a green eye? He just saw your mom, Joe. This poster is quite unusual, but very colorful and bright. I would watch a cartoon about Donald running away from a pile of pencils. I won't run away from a flock of pencils. You're completely stupid. Donald, there's no other choice, or you'll have to star in an adult film with pencils, ha ha ha. Donald, you've already run from boars and monkeys. It won't be difficult for you to run away from pencils. And... I feel like ice cream in Joe's mouth. I want to get out of here. Okay, guys, let's give this poster a rating. Obviously, I'll give it a 10. I love it when Donald suffers. I'll give it an eight. I don't know if Donald will have to go through this. I give it a nine. In this picture, I look like a real handsome guy. What is this? Ha ha ha, Joe, it's called karma. Just look at this. This dinosaur looks like it wants to eat Joe. That's what he wants, Barack. Hey, look at the American flag with Billy on it. Isn't that the beefy idiot holding the big eggplant? Wow, 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 man, easier. I think Billy's inscription is there for a reason. Hey, easier, okay? What if in the future, Billy takes over America with dinosaurs and plants huge eggplants everywhere? Joe, you don't have to worry. You'll still be president of Africa. I won't be the president of Africa, you fat pizza eater. Booga booga Injun Joe. Friends, do you understand with whom I am recording the video? One looks like a monkey, rules the underwater world. The second is an Indian ruler of Africa. Joe, we all ask you to shut up. Barack, the only thing we can ask is that Joe resign as president? It is truth, too. You are completely idiots. I will not resign as president. Now let's appreciate this poster. There's no harm in dreaming, Joe. I'll give this poster a five because I'm scared of Billy and dinosaurs. Him again. I'll give it a 10. I like watching a huge dinosaur run after Joe and about to eat him. I give it a three. I'm scared of Billy. I hate you, Billy. What the heck? I think no explanation is needed here. Barack says goodbye to his family. And at the top of the bus is most likely his mother, waving to him. Yes, this is not my family, you idiots. I was not born a monkey at all. 
Barack, this is exactly how monkeys behave. There is all the evidence against you. Your mother is a huge hairy gorilla. In this poster, Barack is very sad because his family is leaving. Barack, don't be upset. Nothing will help you two pensioners. Barack, do you like bananas? Yes, who doesn't love them? You're a monkey. Let's rate this portrait. It looks quite sad, so I'll give it a seven. Barack's mom looks sad, so I give her a seven, too. I'll give it a seven, too. It's a sad story. When will you understand that this is not my mother and I was born into a normal family as a normal person? Never, Never the, the monkey, monkey Barack. Barack. I'm huging with a hairy boar. What? I think the boar likes this. Donald, we finally met your mom. Barack, shut up. I can remind you of the previous poster. I understand. I'm silent. Look, Donald also likes to hug this pig. We revealed Donald's secret. He loves to hug hairy boars. It's just a poster. Or I don't like hugging hairy boars. Blah, 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 boar. Donald, we've revealed your secret. I would watch a cartoon of Donald hugging a flock of wild boars. Ha, ha, ha. I do not hug boars. Donald said thank you for hugging the boar and not Billy. I can imagine what the picture would be like if he hugged Billy. I would even watch a cartoon like this. I'm surprised the country hasn't gone crazy under a president like this. So let's rate the poster. It looks very cute, so I give it 200. 200? Seriously? Joe, do you think it's cute when I hug a big hairy boar? No, I just love watching you suffer. I give it a 10. This is the cutest picture I've seen in my life. Are you seriously? I want to disappoint you, but you live without brains. I give it a 10 because I'm handsome in this photo, as always. Oh, this is the best picture. Joe, why do you look like the boar from the previous poster in this picture? Joe, this is the best poster I've ever seen in my life. You look like Billy. Look how fat and pumped I am. I look like Donald's mom. Also pay attention to the title of the poster. Big boy! I'm afraid of this poster. This kind look of Sleepy Joe is killing me. Donald, what was that sound at the end? This is the sound of my fear, Barack. Guys, I would watch a cartoon where I am in such a pumped up image. I think it would turn out funny and cool. Yes, Joe, it will be especially funny if in this cartoon you eat everyone. I wouldn't trust such a fat good fellow. Shut up, Donald. Don't you like this poster? I think Joe looks cool when he's pumped up. Like? Barack, I'm scared. Come on, Donald. The picture looks cool and funny. I think everyone would like to see a cartoon where I look pumped up. Okay, let's rate this poster. I'll give it a 10. I'll give it a 10, too. I like the way my kind fat face looks. I'm scared of this picture, so I'll give it a 7. Ha ha ha, Barack here is proof that you are a monkey. Why does every poster show me with monkey? Barack, stop hiding it. We understand that you grew up in a family of monkeys. We will not offend you. Ah! Okay, guys, calm down. We're here to see what we'd look like in a Disney cartoon. Yes, Barack, but for some reason, they show us your real photos with monkeys. Look at the look of this monkey. She has joyful, childish eyes. She is glad that dad came home. This poster conveys a sense of harmony and calm. It's time for you guys to see a psychologist. This is what the man who talks to monkeys tells us. Donald, Joe talks to ghosts and you talk to pencils. It's better than talking to monkeys, Banana Obama. Okay, pensioners, let's rate this poster too. I'll give it a 10. I'll give it a 10 too, because I love monkeys. <laughs> Barack, you just admitted it yourself. In honor of this, I'll give it a 10. Why am I on every poster with a huge hairy animal? You're just attracted to wild animals. Donald, you eat that sausage so viciously, I'm scared of you. Barack, look at this gorilla. She looks like a rock music fan. After this video, I will make an appointment with a psychologist. Actually, I like this picture because there is a huge burger on the table. I love burgers. Donald, you don't just love burgers. You eat everything you see in your path. Barack, at least I don't eat bananas every day and don't jump on trees. As for me, this is the craziest poster today. It seems to me that if Donald were in Disney cartoons, his main goal would be to eat everything. Okay, idiots, let's rate this awesome poster. I'm giving it a 10 because it has a huge burger. I give it one. One? Why? I don't want you to eat a burger. I want you to suffer. You are a soulless monkey, Barack. I put one. Yes, what did you put one for? <laughs> Aladdin? Joe, when I imagine what you would look like as Aladdin, my heart starts to hurt. I agree with you, Barack. Joe, as Aladdin is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. You don't understand anything. If I were in the cartoon Aladdin, I would be big, strong, and pumped up. And blue? <laughs> you would literally look like this blue guy. 
However, I could get my wish and fly. The first thing I wished for was that Donald would run out of burgers. You'll never make it, Sleepy Joe. I'll do it, pot-bellied seal. Calm down, pensioners. I'll take Joe's ice cream and Donald's burgers if you continue to quarrel. We'll take your bananas, Barack. I understand. I'm silent. I suggest you rate this poster. I give it 10. I would watch a cartoon about how I became a Latin and left Donald without burgers. I bet one. You won't get my burgers, gray old man. I'll give it a 10. I want to see what Joe would look like as Aladdin. If they released a cartoon like this, it would be the strangest cartoon in the world. And so, dear friends, today we again looked with the presidents of the United States at what we would look like in Disney cartoons. Write in the comments which poster you like the most. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want Barack to sing Brazilian funk. Donald, I won't sing Brazilian funk. It's late, Barack. Viewers liked it. No! Wait, a hundred stop. Do you even know what we are going to do today? Are we going to play Geometry Dash today? Or will we do reviews of other videos? No idiots. Today we will make a reaction to what we would look like in Disney cartoons. Okay, let's go. Yo, what is this? Why am I fat? Haha, <laughs> Donald, this picture showed your real size. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. Why am I running from monkeys in this poster? Let me guess. Most likely you wanted to ride a monkey, but you couldn't. Guys, just look at my belly. It's stuffed with burgers and pizza. Haha, <laughs> Donald, what if this is not a painting and they showed us a real photo? And so let's rate this poster. I give it 10-10. Fat Donald running from the monkeys is the best thing I've seen. I put one. 100 out of 10. What? Why do I run from a crowd of Mickey Mouse? Ha ha ha, Joe. Karma didn't take long to arrive. It actually looks very large and cool. Barack, a crowd of mice is running after me. What's cool about that? Joe, just look at your face. How old and scared you are. Ha ha ha. I think this is a prediction for 2024. Mickey Mouse is taking over America. Just look, they are everywhere. I'm flying on that plane over there. I would watch Joe run away from a thousand Mickey Mouses. I like it when Joe suffers. Shut up, Donald. Let me remind you, the first picture was about how fat you are running away from monkeys. I don't remember this, Joe. And so, pensioners, let's rate this picture. I give it 10. What, 10? Brock, do you like it when I suffer? No, Joe, I just love Mickey Mouse. And so, idiots, I give it 100 out of 10 because I love watching Joe suffer. I put three. What? Why do I hug a mermaid and why do I have a tail? Ha ha ha, Barack was drawn to children. Barack, now we all know what you do on Tuesdays. You are two pensioners. This is just a picture, and by the way, it looks very cool. Barack, how long have you been attracted to mermaids? Donald, you idiot. Why is there a mermaid in the picture and the cartoon is called Aladdin? This is nothing compared to Barack's smile. Just look at it. He looks like a monkey. Ha ha ha. In fact, the picture looks very cool, and I even look like Poseidon. Barack, you look like a maniac. The poster is really beautiful. I would watch a cartoon about Barack kidnapping mermaids. I give it a 10. You idiots, I don't kidnap mermaids. Blah, 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 monkey Barack, stop making excuses. I already know that. I give it 10. I feel like ice cream in Joe's mouth. I want to get out of here. What? Why am I walking a pig and why am I so happy here? I would call this picture Donald on a walk with his mother. This is the strangest picture I've ever seen. Donald on a walk with his mom in Africa. It's actually a nice picture, bright and calm. Wow, 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 what was that? What? I hope it just seemed to me. I don't know, guys. I didn't see anything. Most likely you just imagined it. What? What was it? I don't know what it was, but it looked scary. I'm sure it was Joe's mom. Shut up, Donald. I'm not surprised you're running away from monkeys on Mondays. And so, pensioners, let's vote. I'll give this poster a 10. It's nice to see Donald on a walk with his mother. I hate you, Barack. I'll give you a 10, too, because I'm the handsome guy on this poster. Donald, you just think you're a handsome guy. I give it an 8. For what 8? Am I jumping into a giant tub of ice cream? This is my dream. Joe, I hope you get diabetes after this. It actually looks very cool and attractive. I would watch a cartoon where Joe falls into an ice cream box. Maniac Obama, don't even try to suck up to Joe. We all already know you've been kidnapping mermaids. I didn't kidnap mermaids, Donald. You're an idiot. Guys, stop quarreling. Look how cool this portrait is. I would love to watch this cartoon. Joe, in this portrait, your face looks like a crowd of Mickey Mouse just ran after you. Donald looks better than a fat old man running from a crowd of monkeys. I give this portrait a 10 because I love ice cream. I'll give it a 10 because I want Joe to get diabetes. 
Donald, I hope you turn off the internet. I'll give this picture a 10 because it looks very cool, just like Donald's mom. What, why exactly am I running from the monkeys? Because you are the monkey, Barack. Is it just me or am I standing behind? I knew that Sleepy Joe and Barack were among the African tribes. It seems to me that this gorilla behind Barack is bigger than all of us put together. In any case, it looks like some kind of horror cartoon because Barack is in this cartoon, ha, 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 ha. Donald doesn't seem to help you anymore. It would be funny if they released a cartoon of Barack running from an orgome hairy gorilla named Joe. Hey, why am I a big hairy gorilla? Because I told Joe so shut up or I'll call the nursing home. I understand, I'm silent. Pensioners, enough useless talk. Let's rate the art, I give it a 10. I would add here the links that eats Barack, so eight. I agree with Donald, that's why I also give it an eight. You have no taste, old people. Everything about this poster is weird. Pig eats pizza, Donald with black hair, I would like to see this. Donald, for some reason you have no luck with cartoons. Barack, half a minute ago you were running from a big hairy gorilla. What are you talking about? The table in this poster is well done. There is a lot of delicious food on it, but the worst thing about this poster is Donald with black hair. There's no need to be jealous of my beautiful hair, Joe, and if you are, be jealous in silence. Donald, I don't envy you, I sympathize with you. Joe, you're just like your mom, just as nasty and old. Donald, but you really look like my dog in that poster. You don't understand anything about fashion, two idiots. I give it a two, because Donald roasted a pig and put pizza on it. I give it a two, I want Donald to finally turn into a white pig. So you want to say that I'm a pig? Yes. yes. Clowns, I give myself a 10 because I'm great. You can dream whatever you want, Donald, but reality is cruel. What, why am I lying with dogs? I like the name black and white better, ha ha ha. Nothing strange, Donald, the poster shows Joe's love for dogs. That is, Barack began to be drawn to mermaids and Joe to dogs. I'm scared to be with you. Shut up, Donald, I really love dogs and cats too. <laughs> Joe, I always knew it. Joe looks so happy in this picture. Barack, of course, he will be happy. He is lying in bed with two dogs. For Joe, this is normal. Donald, I want to remind you that you recently walked a pig in Africa. What are you talking about? Joe, that doesn't change the fact that you sleep with dogs. This looks very cute. I would watch a cartoon of Sleepy Joe sleeping with dogs. It's funny. Just look, the dog's paw is bigger than Joe's face. I think this is a pretty cute portrait, so I'll give it a 10. I think it would make a cute and funny cartoon. I agree with you, Joe. I also give it a 10. Yeah, Joe, this would make a cute cartoon, especially if you slept with dogs in it. I give it a 10. What, why am I in the forest? And why is there a huge eggplant next to me? Barack began to gather his army of eggplants. I would call this picture a meeting of Barack with his family, but it's much better than Joe sleeping with dogs. Barack in the eggplant world? <laughs> The strangest thing is that I'm standing in the forest and there's a huge eggplant behind me. Barack gathers an army of eggplants to attack the army of Mickey Mouses. Look at that eggplant's face. It's as thick as Donald's. It actually looks like an expensive picture that I would make into a cartoon like this. I'm not surprised that you want to star in a cartoon about eggplants. Donald, I'm sure future photos of you will be much weirder and dumber, sir. Joe, it seems to me today is dumber than when you slept with dogs. We won't see anything. Shut up, Donald, and so let's rate this picture as much as we see fit. I give it a 10 because I love eggplant. I give it a nine. I don't want Barack to end up in the forest with eggplants. I give it a 10. I want Barack to eat a huge eggplant. Love you, Barack. At the beginning of the video, I was running from a huge gorilla, now from a pack of wild boars. Donald, you ran from the gorilla for so long that you started running from wild boars. Donald, while you were running, you lost a lot of weight. Thank you, Barack, I'm still that athlete. This is only in the photo. In life, you are as fat as in the photo at the beginning of the video. I hate you, Barack. Stop quarreling. Let's look at this picture in more detail. There are very beautiful wild boars here. Joe stopped being attracted to dogs and was drawn to wild boars. I'm afraid to be in discord with these idiots. Okay, guys, let's rate this picture. I give it a nine. I love it when boars are hunting for Donald, but I feel sorry for him. Barack, you don't need to feel sorry for me. Look how I bravely run from the wild boars. Don't make me laugh, Donald. You're at most a pizza-eating athlete. I'll put two. Two? Joe, I'll get my revenge on you. I'll call you home to a nursing home. I give it a 10 because I'm perfect in everything. <laughs> I was sure that today there would be such a picture. When will you realize that I don't talk to ghosts? Joe, now that we've found out that you're drawn to dogs and boars, we can expect anything from you. I want to shake the hand of the person who created this picture. This is the best thing I saw today. 
I agree. The picture looks beautiful. But I don't talk to ghosts, you idiots. Blah, 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 Joe. Stop hiding the obvious. Donald, only your mom talks to ghosts. Stop quarreling, two noobs. Let's take a better look at the picture. I like how the ghosts are made here in neon blue. Now we all know what Joe's imaginary friends look like. But you must admit it looks beautiful and atmospheric. Here I agree with you, Joe. The colors are very cool. I think this is the most beautiful picture today. Barak, the best picture is when I was running away from a pack of wild boars. Did I run from them in vain? Yes, Donald, shut up and let me finish. I think this is the most beautiful poster, so I'll give it a 10. Barack, but this does not change the fact that Sleepy Joe communicates with ghosts. I give it an eight. I'll give it a 10, but not because I communicate with ghosts, but because it looks beautiful. What, huge boar? Dear friends, now you have seen a real photo of Barack and his mother. Everything you saw except this photo is fake, ha ha ha. Wow, this boar is so big. I think this is a cartoon Timon and Pumbaa. Why am I so happy next to this boar? What's going on? You met your mother after many years, Barack. Look at Barack's face. It's like he ran away from an African tribe. Barack, booga booga, ha ha ha. You two brainless idiots, there is this cartoon Timon and Pumbaa and I was depicted in this cartoon. Booga booga. Donald, shut up. Booga booga. And so, ladies and gentlemen, let's appreciate this art. I think that mom is sacred, so for Barack's mom, I give 10. This is not my mother, idiot. I give it a nine because I don't like big hairy boars. I'll give it a 10 because your mom is very huge. Nothing can help you anymore. What? Why do I always run from someone? Donald, you're fat again. You're back to your normal appearance. Congratulations. Ha ha ha, mom took the fat nerd out for a walk. What the hell is this? Just look how huge the elephant is behind me. What is the name of this cartoon in the world of wild animals? That's right, Donald. And you're starring there as a fat walrus. I love it when we make fun of Donald. Joe, the next poster will be about you. Let's see what happens this time. Will you sleep with monkeys or maybe talk to ice cream? Shut up, Donald, and let's appreciate the poster. This poster looks pretty cool because Donald is about to be stepped on by a giant elephant. I bet 15. 15, Barack, you have no heart. I put one. I'll give it a 10. I want to see a cartoon where potbelly Donald runs from an elephant. I hate you old people. Finally, a normal picture. Wait, why are there pigs around me? These are your drinking buddies, Joe. Now we all know what Joe does on Tuesdays. Just look at these pigs, how cute they are. I'm about to die from cuteness. It's time for you to die, Joe. Finally, I will become president of America again. Don't even dream, Barack. Hey, idiots, I won't die. Joe, I don't understand how you got elected president of America. Okay, guys, enough useless talk. Let's appreciate that poster. This picture looks bright and colorful. I especially like the sea in this picture. I give it a 10. Joe, you mean a crowd of pigs doesn't bother you? They only compliment and decorate the picture. Okay, guys, my rating is 10. The picture is really bright. We have the last poster left, and it will be about Barack. I wouldn't be surprised if there are monkeys and Africans. I understand this is Barack's father. Barack, your family is strange. Yes, you are completely stupid. This is the Disney cartoon Frozen. And by the way, this poster looks very good. This bear looks very cute. Okay, I admit, I would watch a cartoon like this with Barack, but if at the end of the cartoon, this bear ate Barack's monkey. Look, this poster looks just as good as the, the Joe on the Beach poster. So guys, let's rate this poster. It looks very beautiful and I'll give it three. Joe, but if this poster's beautiful, why three? I don't want to get eaten by a polar bear, Barack. I'll give this poster a 10 because I love bears and I feel bad for Barack the monkey. Donald, you're a monkey. Barack, you look like a monkey the most now. <laughs> And so, dear friends, today, the presidents of America and I looked at what we would look like in Disney cartoons. Today, I was the most beautiful and perfect. Donald, you were on all the posters today running from monkeys and elephants. Joe, did you talk to ghosts today? Dear friends, write in the comments which poster you like best. Let's prove Donald that he is wrong. They will write that the posters with me were the most ideal. Also, don't forget to click like under the video and subscribe to the channel. Barack the monkey. Donald. Booga booga.